What's up guys, Hockey Rocky here and welcome back to another video. Now I just want to take the beginning of this video to apologize to you guys. Because I have not been here over the past month and I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's not because that I have been, you know, busy or I've been doing stuff or school. Because when I say that, I actually mean it. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've just been super freaking lazy. I'm out of school. It's the middle of the summer. I've just been laying around, stuffing my face with food, uh, reading stuff on NHL, so on and so forth. So I do want to apologize about that. And I actually am going to bust out a second video this week, either Wednesday or Thursday. Now that video is going to be about the NHL draft. So if you want to stay tuned for that, you'll know everything that happened at the draft on Wednesday or Thursday. Now it could be, I'm going to be talking about picks, I'm going to be talking about trades, especially there, my favorite thing to talk about. It's now silly season in NHL, free agency opens up July 1st. So now let's talk about the news that I've been missing for over a month. Alright, we're going to start off with Dustin Brown was removed captaincy of the LA Kings, which is a great decision because Dustin Brown is arguably one of the worst captains in hockey history. Just saying, sorry D. Brown, but it's true. Anze Kopitar becomes the new Kings captain. I'm pretty excited about this. Anze, he's a great leader on and off the ice. Uh, he's a Selkie winner. And I, I really do believe Anze Kopitar is the best fit for captain on the team. The only person that could have even come close in the thought besides Anze could have been Drew Doughty. But I, my pick would have been Anze Kopitar. That was my prediction. I'm happy LA went through with it. The Anaheim Ducks staying in the Pacific Division here. Uh, Ilya, they ink Ilya Brzezgalov to a one-year deal. Why you have to be mad? I'm so excited for this. I love Brizzy. I'm a big fan of him. And I'm hoping that he can end up his career on a high note now with Anaheim. He once played at Anaheim before, so. Uh, we lost a few people in the NHL for more than one reason, unfortunately. Pavel Datsuk ended up going back to Russia. Uh, I, I can't blame him. He wants to go home. So, you know, Pavel, your Datsuki and Deke will always be remembered in the way you made people look ridiculous on ice. One of the best players of all time, would you say? Top 50 for sure. Pavel Datsuk retires. Vincent LeCavalier also retires. Both future Hall of Famers. Alexander Radulov will not come back to the NHL. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you're money hungry, right? Gordy Howe ended up passing away. Now, this this is a big, pretty big sting to the entire NHL community. Gordy Howe is arguably one of the greatest hockey players to ever live. Number nine on the Detroit Red Wings ended up rallying over 800 career goals during the regular season, over a thousand assists, and nearly 2,000 points, with 1,600 penalty minutes and six league MVP awards. His playoff stats: you got. 100 and over 150 games played, nearly 70 goals, almost 100 assists, with 160 points, 220 penalty minutes, and don't forget, Cordy Howe led Detroit to four Stanley Cups. That says a lot, knowing that I'm a Shark fan. We've been around 25 years, just went to our first Stanley Cup, and oh yeah, we lost. It didn't go so well. I mean, I don't like to point the finger or anything, but Joe Pavelski had one point. Oh yeah, it was an empty netter. Oh. All right, my favorite part now about the video is when I go in to talk about trades. Silly season, right? Okay, the Colorado Avalanche trade Red Obera to the Florida Panthers for Rocco Grimaldi. My opinion, nobody wins this trade. It's Avalanche weren't really using Barra. Grimaldi, just a depth player for Florida. It's, it's a draw. It's a draw, really. Good trade. New York trades Keith Yandel to the Florida Panthers for a 2016 Second or yeah, 2016 sixth round pick. I'm sorry, and a 2017 conditional pick. Now Keith Yandel, top four defenseman, great player, played with Arizona for many years, played with New York. I think Florida robbed New York on this trade for a sixth round pick and a conditional 17. I think it's a rob. I think easy, no doubt in my mind. Florida Panthers win this trade. The Anaheim Ducks trade goaltender Frederick Anderson to the Toronto Maple Leafs for a first round pick in 2016, which was originally Pittsburgh's pick when they traded Phil Kessel to the Penguins, and a second round pick in 2017. Now, this is simple. Leafs win this trade. They get Frederick Anderson, a starting goalie. This is the first starting goalie that the Leafs have had since Felix the Cat Potvin. I mean, let's be honest, Reimer was good. They traded him to San Jose. He's going to be a free agent now. Who knows where he's going to go? Jonathan Bernier is not a starting goalie. 
Like, I'm sorry if Toronto fans are watching this and you're going to get upset about that. Bernier is not a starting goalie. And I, I, it was evident watching him throughout the regular season. He was horrible in a lot of games. He really, Toronto, people look at him down here at the bottom of the standings. They're not as bad as they looked, and it's really unfortunate. All right, so now my favorite trade, the San Jose Sharks traded their 2016 fourth-round pick and their 2017 third-round pick to the St. Louis Blues for Maxime Letinov and a 2017 sixth-round pick. I think the San Jose Sharks win this trade because Letinov was a second-round draft pick. We get rid of a couple lower-round draft picks. Who knows? He could end up being San Jose's modern Jonas Downs for a year or two from now. Um, uh, Chicago's cap space hurts them again. They trade Brian Bickle and Tavo Teravainen to the Carolina Hurricanes for a second-round pick in 2016 and a 2017 third-round pick. I think as we speak, the Canes win this trade because they get a young prospect in Tara Vinen. I know people argue, but we got rid of Bickle's contract in Chicago. You know, Tara Vinen's work, work ethic wasn't that great. But at, at the end of the day, I think Tara Vinen's going to develop into what the Hawks fans wanted him to in Carolina. Carolina wins this trade. Last but not least, Dallas Stars trade Alex Goligoski to the Coyotes for a fifth round pick in the 2016 NHL draft. Alex Goligoski, I think, is definitely worth more than a fifth round pick, if you ask me. Pretty simple. Um, at the end of the day, Coyotes win this trade. They get a good depth defenseman to help them carry on their team. And I, honestly, looking at them now, Domi matured a little bit throughout a year in the NHL. Uh, Duclair, they got Dylan Strom. Um, we'll talk about who they grabbed in the draft in my next video. I really do believe that they're an up-and-coming team. Shane Doan's still hanging around somehow. At the end of the day, they can be a wild card next season. I really do think so. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button for me, please. I would appreciate it. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. I would also really appreciate that. I know I've been lazy, uh, so I probably don't deserve a subscriber or two, but it would be nice. Drop a comment down below if you, you know, I missed anything, or if you guys just want to chat about hockey, I'm always open to talk about hockey. I love talking about it. And then I will see you guys in a couple days with another video. We'll see you guys next time.